live live from New York it's the coffee club with your host Felix and your co-host Mark or the doc who should be joining us shortly We are also broadcasting tonight on Spreaker, and as always, we will also be playing songs from our Block Talk Radio. I, I should say not from Block Talk Radio, from uh, I plug this. And the first song, while I'm waiting for call-in, is. Uh, Gentleman name is Scott Kirby from the United States. He's got a nice song, Something to Move. It's a blues. It's nice. Enjoy. I'm sorry, but I started from the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our co-host just joined us, The Doc. How are you tonight? Ah, not much, not much. Just doing a little uh, revival of a show, and uh, today will be a short one just to say hello to everybody, and hopefully people will start coming back and listening to our show. All right, it's not going to be a long show because uh, one of our listeners or guests who were going to come on was not able to come on, which has shortened the show quite a bit. Then, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, the message I got was that he's not up to it tonight. But whatever. Uh, but I did want to. Now we can discuss whatever we want to discuss. And then we can, like I said, cut it off short. But I'm going to finish the song we had on. It's going to be only another couple of seconds and see what you think of it. You were listening to it when you dialed in. It's. Oh. Oh, okay. Did you hear that? You heard nothing. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of when you said we are still doing as well as ever. Never. Technical difficulties, never heard of that word. Yeah, I know. Besides, they know as they know as well as we do Do we have stuff. But this part is supposed to work. That I don't understand. We've always had music. Yeah. Yeah, music was never a problem. 
So I don't know what's good. What. Yeah. Music we always had. You and I, well, that's something else completely. But, hey, what are you, what are you going to do? Have to play with what we have. And then when... Uh, and then we can worry about it another time. It might be, uh, wait a second, I may have found the problem. One second, I'm going to try for one more second. Tell me if you hear it. Dancing on the clouds tonight, just kicking up some rain. Sun goes up. Did you hear anything? Yeah, yes I did. Hey, let's finish the end of the song, Resolve. Some goes down, but memories don't fade. Got a tear in from an eye, and paints a rainbow clear. Lose hope for better days. Got into a great city. She said it's all right now. Baby, it's all right now. She said it's all right now. It's all right. Trouble now, no Trouble's far away She ain't got no trouble now, no She got no trouble now, no Trouble's far away Everywhere that you might go Y'all might seem the same Looks like it has hit the time Sick of foolish games Nothing gonna drag you down But still, what can you do? You cannot get close enough Photograph the news Lips four and five fingers Looking back at you With their faces all the same Calloused in blue Bleeding the two Troubles far away It's four and five fingers Looking back at you With their faces all the same Calloused in blue Troubles far away Said it's all right now Said it's all right now Said it's all right now It's all right It's all right now Said it's all right now Said it's all right now It's all right Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was Scott Derby from the United States. All right, and then it's presented to us by iPluggers. That sounded pretty good. What did you think, Doc? Uh, it's all right. I wouldn't write home about it. Oh, you don't you don't like that kind of music? Well, it's more, it's like a blues uh, blues type music. Well. Yeah, I know you like that, you know. Yeah. Uh, rock, rock blues, huh? Well. Whatever. We we don't have to is, like it. That's true. Why don't we just get into it already? Talk about this op-ed letter that's going around, okay? The what? That, that, the op-ed letter that has Trump, uh, you know, all up in arms about... Uh, Somebody supposedly in his uh, inner circle, okay, uh, saying that uh, he's that his his cabinet and all those around him are uh, protecting the, the country from him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I th if the guy was a real patriot, he'd come out. Well, that seems to be uh, the general. I, I can understand the guy, you know, at first wanting to maybe keep it secret because he's worried about his job. But the thing is, if you're going to badmouth your boss, you got to figure you're going to be fired, you know? Yeah. So, uh, and, you know, but I mean, if he's that worried, what he, if he's that worried, what he should have done is come out and then resign. Come out, okay? resign. Because there's nothing, there's nothing. Well, well, there's nothing that Trump can do to him legally. He hasn't no. broken any rules. All he's doing is stating his opinion, you know. And also and, there's an uh, article. 
he can he can ask requests for an article twenty five. Well, I don't think uh, you know. Well, he brings that up, you know, in uh, in in what he's saying, but it's very difficult to uh, to get that to put that through. You have to have eight eight members of his cabinet to agree the vice president, and then it has to go to Congress, you know, and Congress is just too afraid of the control that Trump seems to have over uh, elected officials in the Republican Party. You know, no one's willing to say or do anything. You know, well, they they're also, continually well, poo-poo, they continually poo-poo everything that he does, you know. And that's not the right thing to do. Well, the first thing is, one of the better things the guy said, he said, the country and the economy is doing great. Is what he said, right? Well, but his, his concern, well, his concern is not with that. On the other hand, side of the coin, you have Trump telling uh, uh, ecumenical leaders and religious people that if they... If we don't elect Republicans, there's going to be violence in the streets and the economy is going to fail. He didn't you know, say violence. I, don't, I never heard him say violence. I heard him say that he believes oh, yes, that the economy did. will fail. Oh, yes, he did. He said, he said violence. There is going to be violence. I heard it. Okay. In what context? And, what kind of violence? Uh, he didn't elaborate, and he never does. All he does is make statements like that, and, uh, you know, he lets people deal with it the way they want to deal with it. But the bottom line is, he always is coming from uh, the... Left uh, field. Left field. Uh, from fear. You know, he's coming from fear, you know, that, that he's going to stir up his base, that much we know, and even some of those who were not... Uh, you know, maybe his one of his supporters, once they hear the term violence and, and you know, fear sets in, you know, right away, you know, uh, as in the past, people always felt that the Republican Party kept uh, America safer than the Democratic Party, you know? Well, so uh, it's another way to stir things up. Yeah. You know... To, you know they they say he's a, they say he's a, what a a, a a high official what was their expression? Yeah, not just a mid level person in the uh, he's a, an upper echelon uh, uh, advisor or whatever. Yeah. You know, in 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 the cabinet or in the he's Trump not, uh, no, White no, House. No, they said he could be a deputy director of. Uh, the Department of EPA, and that he'd be considered that. You know, the, uh, well, that very... would mean it's coming. Well, the EPA is controlled by, oh, no, that's energy. I was going to say uh, uh, Rick Perry is energy. No, I don't I said, know who the, one of oh, the, the deputy EPA, director, the EPA, well, of... he, was, he, was, he was Scott Pruitt, but he's not there anymore. One of the, uh, no, sir, one of the no, deputy directors, not the director. The deputy directors, that's a very broad, as it turns out, there could be a lot of people, not just 10, 20. It's a much broader well, than that. Well, that's what, you know, that's what they've said on, on the news, you know. You're not talking about a couple of people. You know, there are thousands of people at work in yeah. and around the White House, you know. Yeah. So, uh who fit the bill of what he they, the he, New York Times described. Yeah. So, you know, you don't know. It could be Obama left over who's uh, not happy. It has nothing to do with... No, you see, what, what Trump doesn't understand is that there are life-term government employees